Violent crime is much more intense than most people can imagine. But unfortunately there are a lot of people that teach self-defense systems that actually don't address this. They teach from a fantasy rather than a reality. So this is a classic example. You've got someone that's teaching a self-defense against a person snatch. It's nice, it's fluid, but let's be honest, is it realistic? Let's compare it to a real person snatching, a real mugging. Now I'm not going to knock self-defense videos because I make them, but what I do want to do is highlight the reality of self-defense, the intensity of violence. And the shortfall in most training systems is that they don't take into account sudden attack and the intensity of violence, the psychological aspects of a real attack. So this week, I'm going to discuss what it takes to be able to defend yourself. As usual, we'll look at a real case study, we'll break it down, but we'll compare it to how people train, especially for this specific circumstance. So keep watching. Purse snatches are often fast, aggressive, with a high intensity of violence. And this is a classic example of a purse snatch. The vast majority of self-defense advice doesn't reflect the real intensity of violence. It doesn't examine exactly how the attack is gonna go down. What it does is it gives you a hypothetical situation, a situation of what may happen in a given point of time. But the key factor that's left out is the intensity of violence, the psychological and emotional fitness that you'll need at that point in time. That's what's missing. Purely because the basis of learning how to defend yourself is that someone's going to attack you and they're going to attack you when you're at your weakest. And this is the point, it's the element of surprise. The element of surprise is at play. If you know he comes in from the side and he snatches the bag, but unfortunately she's tangled in the straps of the bag. She can't move. She's trying to get free, but it's such a fast, sudden attack. And no doubt, common advice on this is to hang onto your bag. But the problem is with hanging onto your bag is you're more likely going to be dragged along. And in this case, with some sort of resistance, the attacker is more likely going to fight back. Bad guys generally do fight back. If they can't achieve their objective or their goal, they will resort to violence and quite often escalate their level of intensity of violence. So the bottom line is, have some awareness of what's happening around you. Your awareness and your mindset can make a difference in your own personal safety. Now I often say this, most people will attack you in unsuspecting locations. Inside a shop is a classic example. If someone's going to snatch your bag or your purse, what better place to do than in a queue in a shop? Because if you think about it, that person can get quite close to you and you'll have your guard down, you'll be unaware of what's going on. And in that situation, it's obviously even easier for someone to attack you and to rob you of your bags and your items. So what's the takeaway from this? Training for self-defense has to be much more about dealing with the intensity of violence. Consider working surprise attacks into your game, adding some offense to your defense learning to deal with extreme situations where you've been pulled and pushed and surprised even. Remember, prevention's key and situational awareness is a must. The point of what I'm trying to really essentially get across is that self-defense is where you're fighting off the back foot. Because when someone attacks you, if they're gonna rob you, if they're gonna enter your house, if whatever their, their reasons for doing it, they're going, if they're multiple, if it's a gang attack, you know, it's going to be an element of surprise and you're going to be fighting from the back end, from the back foot. Content creators like myself, we all have good intentions. We want to help people to protect themselves. But as I said earlier, the most important thing is to train people to understand the intensity of violence. And if you can do that, you can better prepare people to look after themselves. Because the reality is, Without any real understanding, you could put yourself in much more danger. Thanks for watching.